Mural Mosaics was created in 2003 by three artists from St. Albert with a simple plan, to unite the world through art. Lewis and I have been uh, artists for, for years, and uh, I have, uh, I've been active in the community, creating events, bringing artists together, and Lewis has been always creating uh, fascinating projects. His ability to create these, uh, these amazing murals, he, he started doing with some children. And I thought, well, what if there's a way to incorporate professional artists to make these massive murals? Our man behind the scenes, Paul, who he's really good on the internet. He uh, tracks down some of the best artists he can find. Then he passes along that information to myself, and then I send out the contacts, and, uh, uh, and then Lewis approves of them. And, you know, it's this great uh, relationship we have as a, as a team to go after the artists. Part of the beauty of the project is we don't want the artist to be led by the final image. So Lewis keeps the image a secret all the time. But what he does tell the artist, he gives them a board to paint, he gives them certain colors they may have to use, or maybe a marking on the board they have to incorporate. So it's much like um, getting an ink blot. You know, what do you see in your shape? And, uh, and then to their surprise, uh, they're gonna create an amazing masterpiece with, uh, with people they don't even know. Well, with the, the town of Cochrane's mural, that was a community project. So we basically designed the image for the town of Cochrane, and then uh, we left it up to um, Sandy Johnson to, to go out and, and unite the community through the project. What we did was we put a call out to the community through our local media and said, this is what we're looking for. Become a part of a lasting cultural legacy for the town of Cochrane. You don't have to be professional. Children were encouraged, schools, and it just snowballed. The youngest artist was three at the time. She's now four. I did the Pokemon from the ice cream. We all worked together with her brother and sister and myself, and we did our four favorite things. I painted a picture of my husband fishing. I hadn't painted in 10 years before I painted this panel, so I would consider myself very much an amateur. I've been working at the pool for 10 years, and I thought that'd be kind of neat to put recreation into the, the mural. And it was a family project, so we got my two girls to help me out with it. It, it, it was really fun to watch the artists come together. We you know we'd go down and do a few workshops with the artists. They'd, they'd paint away uh, while Lewis gave them some guidelines and such. And uh, we had such a wide range, you know, everything from a, a fine art piece to a cute kids painting. But there was even a killer whale painting in the mural. I'm not sure what that, that has to do with Cochrane, but what the heck, it was a nice painting by a, by a young child. So, um, it, it was just such a great diversity of, of art. And then we had to put all the pieces together. And uh, this is the exciting part. And, and we unveiled it uh, on a temporary basis on Canada Day, and what, what a day that was. You know, people were, were like, wow, we created this, you know, and, uh, you know, some people get a tear in their eye, you know, they're like, is this possible that, that my child could work with this professional artist and create this amazing masterpiece? The mural we're working on now is Le Cadeau de Cheval. It's actually in inspired a little bit from the Cocker mural because when we did the Cocker mural, we realized there's a strong equine community out there. Th this was a great opportunity to create a giant celebration to the horse and to have every equine artist that we can get our hands on to have them contribute something to it. So it's really exciting. With the Le Cadeau de Cheval, we're, um, we're, at, the, we're at the exciting place where we get the panels back. So all the work I've done, I've, I've spent probably six months on this project, um, designing it, making sure that all the panels have compositions that, that an artist can actually play with and have fun. Um, if I've done my job right, it should be easy, um, well, not maybe not easy, but easier for them to, um, to, to work with the board. With my mosaic piece, there was kind of a brownish color at the top, and it kind of went from one diagonal to the other uh, across the top. And then there was um, this kind of peachy color, and then a big area of purple. And I thought, wow, this is like, what am I going to do? So I guess I got one of the more challenging boards, because that's what it said on the little note. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> it's always exciting when you do a mural with professional artists. And it's very humbling too, like like um, artists that we uh, we admire, our peers, to, to have them do a piece for our project and to kind of trust what they're gonna what they're gonna give us back, you know, is it, it's always it's always a mystery. Oh who's that Paul? Wow. Is that Rich Gady? Yeah. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. 
good. Beautiful texture in this bean. Every time we get a panel, it's it's like Christmas, you know. And and uh, I don't know if you can relate to when you're at Christmas time, you you got the present of the tree and you open it up and you're like hoping it's that one gift that you've always wanted. And no matter what, it's exciting to see it. Sometimes it's like the the best gift we've ever received, and sometimes it's like, well, uh, Grandma gave me socks. <laughs> but uh, but you know the, the the truth is, every time we get it, we're we're just excited to um, to see what the artists are going to put forth, you know. And 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 yes, we do get sometimes panels that that may or may not work but in the history of our, our murals i think we've only had one that we've ever had to reject i'll do um like 10 paintings in the in the mural and those 10 paintings kind of help balance off some paintings that might not be working with the other one so i mean mine will be kind of like a buffer in between as well as um holding together some of the stronger compositions one thing about artists is you give them a certain amount of guidelines and rules, and they're going to try to get as close to the edge of, that, of those guidelines and as close, and, and try to break rules. And it's exciting, because when you get it, you're thinking, wow, I didn't expect this from that artist. So this is Charity Dakins, and uh, I just can't wait to see what she came up with here. Wow. Oh, this, this is absolutely <laughs> stunning. She's got like this gold leafing in there. Like the subtle background here too, the pyramids. Well, the thing about the equine theme is it's it's an international. Um, I mean, horses aren't just for the cowboys and the uh, and the people on the ranches. It's for people all over the world. And what's nice about equine artists is they. It's not that they, they just paint horses, it's they understand horses, they understand how they look. It's just really neat seeing that and seeing how well done some of these horses are. Now is the fun part where they just bring back the panels and we start to assemble it. So the next you know month we should have them all back. So this is what, 30 paintings out of the, there's 238 paintings and this is like only 30 of them. So this is gonna be huge. It's so well done. Every time we do a mural, we have a different purpose, and we've, we've done it everything from uh, centennial projects to fundraisers. And uh, we've actually raised close to um, just about a million dollars through, through all our murals, you know, for various organizations, everything from the Canadian Parks and Wilderness Society to the uh, Saving Our Military Heritage, you know, so it's a pretty wide range of, of fundraising components. You know, you, you always sit there and dream of how big you can take this. And, that, and I'm, I mean, we'd like to be able to create something that, that can really involve cultures and people all over the world. But I, I have to admit, I, I, I leave that kind of thinking for Phil to do. I, my focus is just to do a, a, a really good horse. So I just try to focus on the art right now. All right, that's it for today. Sorry. Can't wait to see what we get tomorrow. Part of the joy of life is, is, is sharing in an emotion. And, um, and when, when we finish these murals, we, no, none, no one of us in the, in the project feels like we can claim it and say, oh, that was my project. It's a community project. And so when everyone feels kind of pride or, or, or happy or some kind of um, sensitiveness towards it or whatever, and that, uh, it's just a good feeling. One thing I've believed all my life, and I know that Lewis and Paul as well, is that um, that the strength in community is 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 really what makes this world. And uh, and if you can create a project that uh, that everybody can see the beauty behind it and, and the power of working together, then good things will come out of it.